How's it going and welcome back to Hawaiian Horology. Today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, my latest pickup from my authorized dealer. A watch that I didn't really even ask for but I'm actually glad that I did pick it up. So here we go. Alright, so here it is folks, without further ado, the uh, latest pickup uh, that I uh, got from my authorized dealer, the uh, Sprite, the left-handed green GMT, uh, reference number uh, 126720VTNR. Uh, this watch um, is very interesting to me. I really, uh, I really, really wanted it uh, on release. I thought it was amazing because uh, some of you guys know I am left-handed. I do wear my watch on the right wrist, so this should be just perfect for me. But I've been wearing this for the last few uh, days here, and it is a little weird to look at it takes some getting used to on the wrist when i'm looking down the weirdest part for me so far is just the way that you wind it the way that you unscrew it um, i am getting a little bit better at this I, i'm left-handed so this is uh, right up my wheelhouse but i find it much much easier to unscrew the crowns set the time set the date set the gmt hand and especially screw it back in on a regular uh, watch with the crown on the right hand side but um yeah i think it's great very comfortable i mean it's a uh, it's nothing really new for me because um I do have the Batgirl and I do have a bunch of other uh, watches on Oyster so this is just kind of a, um, a combination of, of everything that I already have. Wears great 40 millimeters. Um, what I didn't uh, expect is to feel so much, um, I, it doesn't dig into the wrist but I do definitely feel it versus how I have my watches uh, normally which would be the smooth side on this one and um, nothing really touching my wrist uh, over here but uh, it's not like it's digging in there's not like a not like a crown imprint here but it is something that uh, I'm aware of now that I wear it on the right wrist and on to my story about uh, how I obtained this watch uh, so this watch used to be on my list I normally uh, give her maybe like five or six watches uh, to put on my list at a time and she texts me every now and then, she oh, update your list, uh, update your list. So maybe every couple of months, uh, she says to update your list. So the last watch I got from her before this watch was the Batgirl. And I believe maybe my list, uh, one or two lists after that, um, was about, well, so the Batgirl was about a year ago. And I think I did update my list a few times. This, this was on my list before getting the Batgirl. And even after the getting the background, I was still uh, pretty interested in this watch, but um, maybe for the last six months or so, I purposely removed uh, this watch and I purposely removed the Sky Dweller from my list because just me in my head doing my um, Rolex AD math, I felt that these, that this model and the Rolex Sky Dweller were the only really two uh, semi-obtainable watches that are on my list. I um, I really want the Titanium Yacht Master, or that's almost impossible. I, I still have my list for a Daytona, which of course that's uh, very, very hard to get. So I removed everything. I only really put the ultra premium watches on my list. I removed this one and the Sky Dweller, although they are very premium and they're very hard to get. I felt like it just might be a little bit easier to get. And truth be told, boom, she gave me this watch. But so. So this watch was on my list. I took it off and then she called me for it. So I'm very happy with it. This is a watch that I did want. Um, so I picked it up. Hopefully on the next um, I got the call video from this authorized dealer, it will be for a Daytona or it will be for a Titanium Yacht Master or maybe it'll be for the um, Yellow Gold President um, with a green dial. 
According to her, she says that one is even harder to get than a Daytona. So fingers crossed for that one. I mean, I don't even have any money for that one, but I could probably sell a few things and make it work. But um, I really like this watch. Let me know what you think in the comments. And let me know if uh, you've recently gotten the call for a watch like this. Uh, the funny thing about this watch, I just picked it up and then I saw a video from ID Guy uh, talking about the collectability and the obtainability and just other stuff about this watch. And the thing is, it's not even new. So I thought it was just a funny coincidence that I picked this up and then he talked about it. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. And uh, thanks for watching. More videos to come soon. Thanks. Shoots.